Hello guys, what's up? Hope all is well, that ends well. Yeah, today is a new day. So, I thought I'll just come over here, have a look around myself and be one with nature. It's uh, Tuesday morning. So, I thought I'll take a walk in the park. Actually, in IG Stadium, the grasses are very green. And uh, I heard that anything which is green, I mean, greeneries, are good for the eye. So, that's a scientific conclusion. I believe what science teaches humanity. And uh, of course, I'm here at the uh, main arena looking towards the west. It's kind of like that. So, from here to Fort, I'll be pushing ahead and it's a uh, the sky is not that clear however hopefully it's gonna be a clear day today of course uh, here and there with a drizzle of rain thrown just to liven up the place you see I met this kid who wanted to know the year of my birth so I told him 1969 and to my shock he said that I was bluffing I said why she said so she said she knew that I was bluffing because the year of a birth starts with 20. <laughs> what an innocent young kid that was who didn't believe me because I was selling the truth. But such is the hard facts of life. Sometimes we gotta accept and apply what the conception of the other person to is and that's what we call consideration or considerate or in other words liberal the bottom line is to each his own and now guys I just wanna share with you a thought from Gautam Buddha he stated there is pain misery suffering in this world due to wants due to human desires and to illustrate my point let me narrate you a short story a long time ago, once upon a time, that was a very, very long time ago, there was a king. His cheeks were rosy. He seems to be in a very good state of health. His appetite was very short, but he claims he is sick. So from his kingdom, many physicians, that is doctors, were summoned to treat him. And if they failed to cure him from his sickness, that is his malady, they were beheaded. And so many learned men were being because of their failure to treat the king 
from his sickness. So many learned men met their death. Now his ministers thought if they continue on this trend then there won't be any wise enough to do the administration of the king's domain. So it was decided by his prime minister that they'll set sail. But before setting sail, they took the permission of the king by announcing that the king will be cured from his sickness if he were to wear the shirt of the happiest man in his kingdom. So with that, with the king's permission, the set sail in search of the happiest man in the king's kingdom. The four corner of the king's domain was search in all the nooks and corners. However, alas, there is no one completely happy to be found. And as they were returning back to the palace with a very very heavy heart and as they were about to enter the palace just in front of the gate they found a man who looks very contented and happy oblivion to what is going on around the world Minding his own business. This beggar, he didn't have much, just barely enough to eat from whatever he was able to back. Finding him, the quarters and the king's army were very much delighted and glad but sadly this beggar has no shirt on his back for the king to wear and so it came to pass now they went to the court of the king and told him about their adventure and that the former man who looks contented and happy living a blissful life but unfortunately he has no shirt for the king to wear to cure him from his my lady, his sickness. Now, after hearing the story, the king realizes his foolishness. And henceforth, he became happy. In the conclusion, I just want to say, an apple a day gives the doctor away but if the doctor is beautiful then it gives away the apple because sleep is the best rest and Laughter is the best medicine.
with that I wanna conclude my vlog here so before concluding I just wanna say take care stay safe adios for now we'll meet again soon very soon in the next vlog so long adios and bye for now have a nice day